Hey everyone and welcome to another week. This week we are using a full kit from Little Paper Prints. I can't remember what the name of this kit is called. Um, oh, sorry, I cannot remember. Um, but this week we are doing August 20th to the 26th. And um, I purchased this kit before I decided I wanted to start using mini kits. So there's going to be quite a few stickers in this I don't use. But um, little paper prints kits are also on really glossy paper. And as I was using a different lighting setup on this day, it is quite reflective. So I'm really sorry about that. It's really um, blown out, uh, which is unfortunate. But we're just going to try and make the best of it. Um, so right now I'm just um, laying down my full boxes in another attempt at the J Crew style planning. Um, I am going to try and separate the two girl boxes, so I'm going to put the first one at the top of Wednesday and second one over on Friday on the other side with some image ones in between. Um, but this week I do have glitter headers to try and emulate that um, stacked look that J Crew does so well, so I am going to give that a try this week. Um, but now that the full boxes are down, I can go ahead and put the date covers down that come with the kit. And um, the kit always comes with date covers and date dots. Um, I was considering using some foiled date dots, but I just didn't think they'd stand out um, too well against the pattern on these date covers. And usually I'm not a big fan of cir white circle dot date covers, but I don't know, I think it works in this kit because it is, you know, from the same shop and all that jazz. But anyways, uh, now that I am finished putting down all of the date covers, um, I'm just going to go ahead and start putting down the glitter headers. Um, I am going to try and do that uh, stacked look, as I said. Um, so going uh, pink, grey, blue, then red across, and then like trying to stack it down on an angle, if that makes any sense whatsoever. Um, but yeah, so I'm just going to do that across all the boxes that I can. As you can see in my planner, I don't actually have any like header spaces. It's just like three full box sizes on top of each other. Um, so I don't have like any like header things that I have to white out. I can just put a glitter header across the top and it's all dandy, which is really convenient, I actually think. Um, to be honest, I do I do absolutely love this planner. I am so glad that I got it. Um, it's perfect for what I want. Honestly, I could gush about my planner for, for hours. Um, not to mention the fact that it's from an Australian seller. So, you know, that's just all the better for me. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to finish off putting all of the glitter headers down. Um, if there's anything you guys want me to talk about during these Plan With Me's, just let me know because I'm not really sure what you want to hear. Um, I'm not that funny. I mean, I think I'm I think I'm pretty funny, but you know, doesn't quite come across in my plan with me's unfortunately, unless I'm telling myself off or I'm rambling. Like I'm rambling right now, I should probably I should probably stop. Anyways, uh, glitter header on the sidebar, very crooked weekend banner down the bottom. Now that I'm looking at it, at the time I didn't see a problem with it, but you know, hindsight 2020, you know. <laughs> um, but I'm just gonna put a glitter label down and then a this week header along with a weekly ombre and I'm actually going to use this to track my reading like how long it's taking me to read books because I am quite interested in how quickly I am getting through them as I really enjoy um, audiobooks um, rather than physically reading books. I have an extensive bookshelf um, of books that just I find it easier to squeeze in reading when I'm using audiobooks so it's just my preferred method and then for this priority section I'm just going to use um, two glitter labels and a half box from the kit to mark down my little priority session which is just section blah, 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 which is just like my big thing of the week and then uh, apparently I was out of frame for this part because I'm a dingbat uh, but I'm just putting down two habit trackers, which I don't even end up filling in, so I don't even know why I put them down there, to be completely honest. But uh, yeah, we are we are doing that for some unbeknownst reason. Because uh, when I use my hourly planner, I don't actually have like a sidebar, so I don't track any habits really. I should probably start doing that. <laughs> um, I'm just putting the date dots down as straight as 
humanly possible or as tailorly possible, which is not very straight, let's be honest. Uh, my best friend will make a gay joke right now, but I'm not letting her have it. <laughs> that's not happening. <laughs> um, uh, but now all that's down, let's just, um, just uh, get started on some foiled overlays. These are from the sticky committee. I wanted to go all out on the foil this week, so every full box is going to have some wonderful foil on it. And I've got a mixture of moons and stars and some sprinkles as well from a birthday sheet that I used half of last week. But I'm going to try and spread the star and moon ones around and then throw in some like uh, sprinkle random glitter ones from the birthday one. Like this one up on the corner. Uh, I didn't want to cover her face so I tried to just keep it to outside glitter. Uh, sprinkles, whatever. But I did that on both the girl boxes and the castle box. I didn't want to cover it up too much. And on the full box there, it's just some sprinkles around the outside. So I didn't want to cover it up too much. But on the full boxes, it makes it even more blinding. But I've gone full out star foil along the bottom washi. Because why the hell not? Honestly, just why not? But I apologize. It's super reflective. I'm blinding you, I am sorry. You now see the light, that's all that really matters because foil, foil is all that really matters. Uh, but these foil corners are from Scribble Prince Co. And that payday sticker is from um, Melabelle Plans, that's what it is. Well, let's just jump on in to Monday. And to get started, I'm just gonna pop down my little work emojis that I've been using, which are these cute little glasses emojis she brought out recently. So I'm just gonna pop one of those down on Monday, and while I'm at it, I'm gonna pop one down on Tuesday as well, because uh, I had Wednesday off this week. And you will notice with this plan with me that um, it is pretty sparse, because I did not have a good week keeping track of everything. Honestly, I did not. Um, so those are down on Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. And then I'm just going to, um, <coughs> sorry, pull um, a label from the kit to mark down that I did have physio on this day. And this physio sticker is from Boxing Cactus. It's my favorite physio sticker because it's the only one where she's that I have that she's in pain. And my physio sessions are not lovely, you know, nice massage. It's very painful massage. And I got another one of these, uh, another one there. Just like last week, another half box Emoti um, shop owner one. And then I'm going to put another label down on Wednesday for um, my dentist visit. So I decided to put this cute little dentist one down because it was a exciting dental visit for me. Um, which is why I'm grabbing a half box now. And another uh, glitter header. Because I finally got my top retainer removed. I still have... I used to have permanent wire retainers in my mouth. I still have my bottom retainer, but I got my top one removed because it was causing a lot of um, problems with my gums. So I had to have it removed. And now I just <coughs> have a normal clear plastic retainer instead, which is a lot better. I just wear it every couple of nights. I should probably track that, eh? You know, good idea, future tailor. Make note of this. Do tracking on your retainer because you never remember to freaking wear it. Um, but anyways, uh, I'm just gonna um, put another appointment label down and mark that I finished reading. If I could speak English, this would go a lot better. <laughs> I'm gonna put another um, book down. What am I doing? I don't know. Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna put the no sticker down first. So I got some really irritating news that afternoon, but then I'm gonna put the appointment label down. And go back and grab another book sticker to mark that I finished reading Crazy Rich Asians. I thoroughly enjoyed the book. I only gave it three stars because it was quite confusing. There's just a lot of characters and it's really hard to keep track of the family relations. I think the movie did a great job of condensing all the storylines. Um, there was a few times I was watching the movie when I was a bit confused as to what was going on. Because I remember, you know different storylines but I understand why they did that they try to minimize the amount of characters um, because it was a bit confusing uh, but I thoroughly enjoyed the book anyways over into Thursday popping another um, label down and this um, burger sticker from Fox and Cactus to mark my Macca's run uh, <laughs> I have a lot of those it's, it's, it's kind of a problem 
Uh, but then I've got this cute little um, like give up bear from Grin and Bear It because <laughs> um, I was having I was having a really bad afternoon. Um, so I'm just gonna pop down this um, sloth onesie um, emoji as well as a uh, like um, worried emoji. I think it is like um, stressed emoji. It's got like the the little um, corner thing on its head, like it's got a headache. And then finally, I'm gonna grab a puppy sticker from Black Wombat. I want to say. I'll double check that. <laughs> um, but I got it ages ago at the Brisbane Planner Markets. And then on Friday, I had Macca's again. <laughs> and I got some fun happy mail that morning as well. Um, I don't even remember who it was from. I've got to start writing down who this happy mail is from because I can never bloody remember. Just let's be honest, I ordered a bunch of shit a while ago. Sorry, swearing. I can't help it, Australian. That's not an excuse. Anyways, I bought a bunch of things a while ago. They've all just been coming in. <laughs> um, but yeah, I got some happy mail that morning before heading off to the doctors in the afternoon. And then on Saturday, I spent most of the day in bed um, before um, finishing The Cruel Prince in the afternoon. That was a five-star book. If you haven't read it, go read it. It's incredible. Just, I have so much love for that book right now. I can't, I can't express into words without spoiling it. But it's like fae fantasy, like cruel fae, and I love it. You need to read it. I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Anyways, Saturday, Sunday, I um did a couple of sticker orders. Um, that's what that checklist is for. And I got Maccas again. If you haven't noticed, I have a small addiction to Maccas, and it doesn't help that they have their like monopoly thing going on at the moment. It's not helping my addiction. Um, but that afternoon, I did spend the day with my mum, and then I spent the night over at my best friend's place. So I'm just going to go through and fill out my spread, so the hours that I worked, and all that jazz. Well, I hope you liked the video anyways. Um, give it a thumbs up if you do and subscribe to the channel to see more. And I will be slowly catching up on all of my Play With Me's over the next few days. I did miss a day in my seven day upload plan that I had uh, due to technical issues, but we are back on track. This will be going up on Thursday. No, Wednesday. This will be going up on Wednesday for you guys. And then I should hopefully have another plan with me on Thursday, um, Friday, and maybe on Saturday. And I should be all caught up by then. But yeah, hopefully you guys have been enjoying all these plan with me. So I try to make them as short and sweet as possible. Um, but yeah, if you got any feedback for me, leave it down below. If you have any suggestions on videos you would like me to film, please leave it down below. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.